I was always a bit of a risk taker, but this was a new level of daring for me. A few months ago, I found myself in a situation I never imagined I'd be in. It all started as a quirky idea I couldn't shake off. I wanted to experience what it felt like to look like a prom princess, just once. This isn't something I could share with most people, so I kept it to myself until I heard about a unique service that catered to such unusual requests. The cross-dressing service was run by someone who initially had reservations about opening it, but demand proved too high to ignore. Many of her clients were straight men who enjoyed dressing up in feminine attire. For me, it was more about curiosity than anything else. I wanted to see myself transformed, to look like a beautiful girl, even if only for a few hours. When I finally gathered the courage to contact her, I didn't beat around the bush. I explained that I wanted to look like a prom princess, just like my sister did last year. I even brought a photo of her in that stunning, strapless dress she wore. She was radiant, and I wanted to capture that same essence. The service provider took my request seriously. She looked at the picture of my sister and said she could definitely make me look like her. It was a strange feeling, handing over control, but it was also thrilling. First, she worked on my hair, attaching long extensions that cascaded down my shoulders. She applied makeup with meticulous care, transforming my face into something almost unrecognizable. With some shaving and a bit of careful makeup artistry, she sculpted my features to appear more delicate and feminine. Then came the dress, a gorgeous, vibrant red number that fit perfectly. As I slipped into the dress, I felt a rush of excitement and nerves. The transformation was astonishing. When I looked in the mirror, I saw a teenage girl staring back at me. It was surreal. The person who looked like a natural model was me, but at the same time, it felt like looking at someone else entirely. The photo shoot was an experience in itself. I posed, smiled, and moved around as if I had been practicing for years. It felt oddly liberating, and I couldn't help but think about how different and beautiful I looked. For those brief moments, I was a prom princess, living out a fantasy one never thought possible. After the photo shoot, I was in a euphoric state. The experience had been liberating, and the transformation was beyond anything I could have imagined. As I was getting ready to change back into my regular clothes, the owner of the service, Amanda, approached me with an unexpected proposition. Kyle, she began, looking thoughtful, you have a natural talent for this. You looked so comfortable and confident. How would you feel about working here, helping to promote the service? You could be a sort of ambassador, always dressed up, encouraging other men to explore this side of themselves. I was taken aback. The idea of regularly dressing up as a beautiful girl was both intriguing and daunting. You mean, like a marketing model? I asked, trying to grasp the full scope of her offer. Exactly, Amanda nodded. You'd be our front-facing model, the person who shows potential clients what's possible. Your experience and confidence could really help others who are hesitant or unsure. Plus, you'd be paid, of course. The idea of turning this into something more permanent was a lot to process. On one hand, the transformation had been thrilling and eye-opening. On the other hand, it was a significant shift from my everyday life. But the thought of helping others discover this freedom and joy was compelling. I'll admit, it's tempting, I said slowly. But what exactly would this role involve? You'd work here a few days a week, Amanda explained. We'd dress you up in different outfits, take promotional photos, and you'd interact with clients, sharing your experience and making them feel at ease. You'd also appear in our marketing materials, both online and offline. I mulled it over. The opportunity to embody different personas, to embrace this hidden part of myself more fully, was exciting and the chance to help others embrace their desires and break free from societal norms was a cause I could get behind. I think I'd like to give it a try, I said finally, feeling a mix of excitement and nervous anticipation. But I'd need some time to adjust and to make sure I'm comfortable with everything. Amanda smiled warmly. Of course, take all the time you need. We'll start slow, maybe just one day a week to begin with, and see how it goes. I'm confident you'll be a great fit. And so, I found myself stepping into a new role, one that allowed me to explore and express a different side of myself. I became the face of the service, a living testament to the power of transformation and self-expression. Each day I worked there, dressed in beautiful outfits, I felt more comfortable and confident. 
I shared my story with clients, helping them overcome their fears and embrace their desires. The experience was transformative, not just in appearance but in how I saw myself and the world. I realized that identity is fluid, and there is immense freedom in breaking away from societal expectations. As a marketing model for the service, I was able to inspire others to take that leap, to explore their identities and to find joy in self-expression. As weeks turned into months, my role at the cross-dressing service evolved. Initially, I worked just a day or two each week, but soon, I found myself eagerly embracing this new persona more often. I became not only the face of the service but also a symbol of transformation and self-discovery for many clients. Dressing up as a girl became second nature. The process of selecting outfits, applying makeup, and styling my hair was no longer just about the physical transformation, it was about stepping into a different version of myself. I found a unique sense of freedom and confidence in this role that I hadn't experienced before. One day, as I was finishing up a photo shoot in a stunning evening gown, Amanda approached me with a thoughtful look. Kyle, she began, I've been thinking. You've really embraced this role, and it's clear that you enjoy it. Have you considered taking it a step further? Maybe dressing full-time as a girl? The idea wasn't entirely new to me. The thought had crossed my mind, especially given how much I enjoyed the transformation. But Amanda's suggestion made it feel more real, more attainable. I have thought about it, I admitted. But what would that look like, practically speaking? We could support you in making this transition, Amanda explained. You'd have access to our wardrobe, makeup, and styling services whenever you need. And if you're open to it, we could even look into more permanent changes, like silicone breast forms or even breast enlargement. The idea of getting silicone breast enlargement was a significant step. It would mean fully committing to this feminine persona, not just part-time but as a full-time identity. The prospect was both thrilling and daunting. I'd need some time to think about it, I said. It's a big decision. Of course, Amanda replied warmly. Take all the time you need. Just know that we're here to support you, whatever you decide. Over the next few weeks, I gave the idea a lot of thought. The more I dressed and lived as a girl, the more natural it felt. My confidence soared, and I felt more at ease in my own skin. Eventually, I decided to take the plunge. I met with a specialist who explained the process of getting silicone breast enlargement. It was a significant commitment, but I was ready. The procedure was straightforward, and the results were amazing. The silicone implants felt incredibly natural, and they completed my transformation in a way that makeup and clothes alone couldn't. Dressing up full-time as a girl became my new reality. Every morning, I woke up excited to choose my outfit, style my hair, and apply my makeup. I felt beautiful, confident, and empowered. My role at the service expanded as well. I was no longer just a marketing model, I became a mentor, helping others navigate their own journeys of self-discovery and transformation. Living full-time as a girl brought challenges, of course. There were societal expectations and judgments to navigate, but I faced them with the same confidence that had brought me this far. I had the support of Amanda and the cross-dressing community, which made all the difference. As my journey continued, I found myself increasingly comfortable and happy living full-time as a woman. The decision to get silicone breast enlargement had been a significant step, but it also led me to deeper reflections about my identity. Over time, I realized that my transformation wasn't just about how I looked, it was about who I truly was inside. I came to understand that I was not just cross-dressing but was, in fact, a transgender woman. Embracing this new reality was both liberating and challenging. I began hormone replacement therapy HRT, under the guidance of a healthcare professional, which helped my body align more closely with my gender identity. The physical changes were gradual but profound, bringing a sense of congruence between my inner self and my outward appearance. My skin softened, my body curves became more pronounced, and my emotional landscape began to feel more balanced. One of the most significant changes in my life came when I met Josh. He walked into the cross-dressing service one afternoon, curious and a bit nervous. He had always been interested in exploring his feminine side but never had the courage to take the first step. As the resident mentor and model, it was my job to help clients feel at ease. From the moment we started talking, there was an undeniable connection. Josh was kind, attentive, and genuinely interested in my story. 
I shared my journey with him, from my first transformation to my realization of being a transgender woman. He listened with empathy and respect, which only deepened my feelings for him. Our professional interactions soon blossomed into a personal relationship. We started spending more time together outside of the service, going on dates and enjoying each other's company. Josh was incredibly supportive of my transition, and his acceptance meant the world to me. As our relationship grew, I decided it was time to share my decision with Amanda and my colleagues at the cross-dressing service. Their support was unwavering. Amanda, in particular, was thrilled for me. You've come such a long way, Kyle, sorry, I mean, Kayla, she said, using the name I had chosen for my new identity. It's clear that this is who you were meant to be. Living openly as Kayla brought a profound sense of peace and authenticity to my life. Josh and I grew closer, and he became an integral part of my journey. He was there for me through every step of my transition, offering love and support that made the challenges easier to bear. One evening, as we sat together on a park bench, watching the sunset, Josh took my hand. Kayla, he said softly, I love you. Your strength, your courage, it's inspiring. I want to be with you, through every step of this journey and beyond. His words filled me with a warmth and happiness I had never known. I love you too, Josh, I replied, tears of joy streaming down my face. Thank you for accepting me and loving me for who I am. Together, we navigated the complexities of my transition, facing societal challenges and celebrating personal victories. Josh's unwavering support made me feel truly valued and loved. Our relationship grew stronger with each passing day, built on a foundation of trust, respect, and mutual understanding. Living as a transgender woman, with Josh by my side, brought me a level of happiness and fulfillment I had never imagined possible. I continued my work at the cross-dressing service, now more passionate than ever about helping others find their true selves. My journey had come full circle, and I was living a life that was authentically and unapologetically mine. Through it all, I learned that true love and acceptance start from within. By embracing my identity and surrounding myself with supportive people like Josh, I found the strength to live my truth. And in doing so, I discovered a love that transcended all boundaries, one that was as beautiful and genuine as the person I had become. Josh and I settled into a rhythm that felt natural and right. We supported each other through life's ups and downs, and our relationship grew deeper with each passing day. His acceptance and love bolstered my confidence, helping me to embrace my identity fully. As my physical transformation progressed, I continued to share my journey with my clients at the cross-dressing service. My story resonated with many, providing them with hope and inspiration. Seeing their reactions made me realize how powerful and important visibility was. My role evolved into that of an advocate and mentor, and I started organizing support groups and workshops to help others explore their gender identities safely and confidently. One day, Amanda approached me with another exciting opportunity. Kayla, we've been getting a lot of positive feedback about your story and the support groups you've been leading, she said with a smile. I think it's time to expand our outreach. How would you feel about hosting a podcast or a YouTube channel to share your experiences and connect with a wider audience? The idea thrilled me. I love the thought of reaching more people and helping them feel less alone in their journeys. With Amanda's encouragement, I launched a YouTube channel called, Kayla's Journey, where I shared my experiences, interviewed other transgender individuals, and offered advice and support. The response was overwhelming. People from all over the world tuned in, leaving heartfelt comments about how my story had inspired them. Many were on similar journeys, seeking the courage to live authentically. I felt a profound sense of purpose in sharing my story and helping others. My relationship with Josh continued to thrive. He was my biggest supporter, always encouraging me to chase my dreams and be true to myself. One evening, after a particularly successful live stream, Josh suggested we celebrate with a special dinner. As we sat across from each other at our favorite restaurant, he reached into his pocket and pulled out a small velvet box. My heart skipped a beat. Kayla, he said, his voice filled with emotion, you've brought so much joy and love into my life. I can't imagine my future without you. Will you marry me? Tears filled my eyes as I looked at the beautiful ring and then back at the man who had stood by my side through everything. Yes, Josh, I whispered, barely able to speak through my happiness. Yes, I will marry you. 
Our engagement brought even more joy into our lives. We began planning our wedding, a celebration of love and authenticity. I chose a stunning gown that made me feel like a princess, and we invited all the friends and family who had supported us. On our wedding day, as I walked down the aisle, I felt a profound sense of gratitude. Every step I took was a testament to my journey, to the struggles and triumphs that had brought me to this moment. When I reached Josh and looked into his eyes, I knew that I was exactly where I was meant to be. Our vows were a celebration of our love and commitment to each other, but also a testament to the power of living authentically. We promised to support each other, to cherish and love each other for who we truly were. It was a day filled with love, joy, and acceptance. After the wedding, we continued our lives together, now as husband and wife. We moved into a cozy apartment and even talked about starting a family someday. My YouTube channel and advocacy work flourished, and I continued to help others on their journeys of self-discovery and acceptance. Living as a transgender woman, married to a man who loved and accepted me completely, I felt an overwhelming sense of fulfillment. My life was a beautiful blend of personal happiness and a purposeful mission to make the world a more accepting place. Through my journey, I learned that true happiness comes from embracing who you are and surrounding yourself with those who love and support you unconditionally. My story was not just about transformation but about finding love and authenticity, and helping others do the same. And with Josh by my side, I knew that no matter what challenges came our way, we would face them together, with love and courage.